parents' and grandparents' rights. And um, if the information I've been given is correct, Ontario is the next province that actually has a grandparents' law. And that means when divorce occurs or family breakup occurs, that the interests of the parents and the grandparents relative to the kids must be taken into account. The law changed as of January the 1st, but it was only grandparents that actually had a um, relationship with their grandchildren, not grandchildren that they've never been allowed to see. So the Quebec law states that no man or woman shall keep grandparents and grandchildren away from each other unless there's a, a reason Available tomorrow afternoon. Would you like to come down to our studios and participate? I'll be anywhere you want me to be. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have the top thousand beds announced today are over the next four years, four years. and they've promised another thirty thousand beds mm -hmm. over the next decade. My question is, what percentage is that of the waiting list? My understanding of the current waiting list in Ontario now is seventy-three thousand. <laughs> wow. Now the the uh, I guess the euphemism of long-term care. It's not always that long, so that there is a turnover in that number. But 5,000 beds really just does not stop. The Minister of Health was asked that question, and he framed it as an alternative, but not separate from the, the private care system, which would still be in place. But there would be a roster of publicly funded PSWs and other service providers who a person could choose when and if they need the service. So they could say, my mother's coming, for a few months, so my, my daughter's coming, I don't need your help this month, mm -hmm. come back next month, but I still want to have the same service provided. Mm -hmm. So their plan seems to be in conjunction with the current private system, but they would have their own roster of PSWs as well. And I think the, uh, the oversight that that provides is something that's positive. Like when the government has the regulatory control over who is providing those services. So the, the current average now is three or three and a half hours of, of PSW care in the long-term care home. They're going up to a, an average of four, which they quantified as 15 million additional hours. So that's a substantial. It's, it's not an accident that there's an election next year that the government of Ontario will suddenly seize the ball of these questions. And I likely stumbled into this through an interest by seeing uh, dementia villages in Holland um, and being affected by that within my family. So I think kids need to know about their options. They need to know where the demand is and then they'll fall into place. So that's just- I really liked how Moses uh, held his ground and uh, handled the questions uh, so very well. A lot of variety in the questions and what more can I say? It was a very good one. No, we're not gonna take it anymore.